Health Check with Nurse Jen is presented by Island Cancer Center. Half a day, I'm Nurse Jen. Thanks for joining me for your health check. We've all been through it. Either we've been around someone with bad breath or we ourselves have had bad breath. Halitosis is the official medical terminology. It accounts for up to $1 billion per year in the U.S. and I can't begin to estimate how many people from Guam fly to the Philippines every day solely to seek specialized dental care, dentures and dental surgeries. Clinical research shows that halitosis can be caused by eating or drinking certain products, improper oral dental care, tooth decay, gum disease, or not brushing, flossing, and using mouthwash. But bad breath can also be a side effect associated with depression, liver disease, ESRD, diabetic ketoacidosis, or gastroesophageal disease. This means that halitosis can either be acute from that garlic you just ate or chronic from a disease. Estimated rates of bad breath vary from 6 to 50 percent of the population, and it's the third leading cause why people seek advanced dental care. In addition, a dry mouth could be the culprit because saliva goes a long way with the smell of your mouth, breath odor. Because saliva rinses and removes unwanted leftovers from your mouth to help break down food and provide disease-fighting substances to help prevent cavities and infections. A dry mouth can be caused by a medication, a medical diagnosis, heavy tobacco or puguat use, or excessive caffeine coffee intake. And luckily for all of us, our local supermarkets sell mouth care products that assist with dry mouth. Other ways to stop bad breath. Start by brushing your teeth for two minutes with a fluoride toothpaste. Flossing for two minutes between your teeth and mouthwashing for two minutes with a product that has the ADA seal of acceptance at least minimum twice a day. Also, consider cutting back on tobacco and caffeine intake to help get your saliva flowing. Maybe consider chewing gum with xylitol to inhibit plaque development, promote teeth remineralization, and reduce acidity levels in the mouth. Xylitol is also available in breath mints to help eliminate bad breath. And finally, the most important recommendation is to see your dentist routinely every six months for proper dental cleaning. Bottom line, good dental care will lessen your chances of having halitosis. I'm Jennifer Artero, registered nurse, reminding you, don't wreck yourself, health check yourself. Health Check with Nurse Jen is presented by Island Cancer Center.